Hey guys, it's your fave crochet girl here. And in today's video, as you probably read in the title, I'm going to be completing my whips. If you don't know what whips is in the crochet community, it's basically when you have projects that are unfinished and you weren't, you was not planning on getting back to them. Let's be honest. Who has whips and decides to go back to them? Not me. So I have quite a few. Well, I have one whip that, two that I actually was planning on getting back to and it was a hexagon cardigan for me and a hexagon cardigan for my goddaughter. And it's almost done. Hers is like one whole sleeve is done. I just need to do the other sleeve. Mine's I have to finish one whole sleeve and then do a whole other sleeve. So I don't know which projects we're gonna complete in this specific video. It's not gonna be all in one day. Y'all are gonna see different outfits, different everything because it's gonna be over a span of multiple days. But for the most part, I'm definitely going to finish my goddaughter texting on cardigan because she came over yesterday and was like, you know why I'm here. Where's my hexagon cardigan? Well, she didn't call it. She was like, where's my shirt? I was like, a little problema with that. But I have to definitely get that to her because she's been waiting since before Christmas. I kind of, this is a big project, so bear with me if I don't, if I don't end up putting it in this video, okay? It is going to be this like granny square sweater and it's uh, I don't you need 12 squares I think I only have nine squares I'm almost done but like the sewing it together and then you have to add on to the sleeves which is another like ugh. this should be fun I'm excited for the ride I'm excited to see how this all gonna play out and I hope y'all join me on this journey because it's gonna be a long one and I definitely don't know what to start with first. I think I'm gonna start with my goddaughter texting on cardigan because that's probably the easiest thing because it's like halfway done because the other sleeve is mostly done and then the other sleeve is all the way done. So I just need to like finish that. So I think I'm gonna start with that and because I wanna get it to her. So I wanna finish that first. So the next clip, y'all will see me getting everything and working on it. Okay guys, <laughs> I'm out the shower and everything, so we are about to get started. So let me show you the project that I'm currently working on, project number one, because we're finishing this. It might not be just today, but we're going to get far today, because I really don't have nothing else to do besides homework, but it's not due today. I just need to get it done. So this is it. It is this hexagon cardigan in this these colors I am so upset right now my camera is telling me that I have two minutes of footage left to record like my SD card is full and I've been deleting so much but the only stuff that I haven't deleted is a vlog from my main page but right, I'm not gonna waste too much time I'm gonna show y'all what I have of the other one so far hold on closing these are always like annoying okay so far this is what I have done of this one and this is how it's, this is where we're supposed to get so not too much longer i just need to keep going with the purple trim and that's going to be for i already did one row so i'll be able to proceed but i'm so upset because i don't know how much footage i'm going to be recording me doing this but i want to start it like today so i'm glad i got the video started i'm glad that's out the way so that way we're both on the same page about what i'm doing and what project i'm on on the same sim card or maybe i could just get another sim card maybe maybe that might be the case but i don't know either way we'll figure it out i will figure it out i'm probably gonna buy a new sim card probably tonight because i can't so bye because now it's turning orange telling me that i'm running out of space bye. hey y'all so it is the next day so i bought a new sd card and i'm filming on it right now in college but I just got home from that, so right now I'm just about to, I went to McDonald's, got me two strawberry cream pies so we can fuel up for this crochet session, how far I've gotten. Okay, so it may not look like much because it's not, but I got the that one row of purple that was just sitting there, I finally finished that, and then I did the second row, and now I am on the third row. So, it's looking good already to me, in my opinion. <laughs> That's that. I will see y'all after I eat and I get in the shower.
gonna pull up. I'm so excited I can film this video. Oh, so here's my little bucket of everything goes in. I have the two colors I'm not using right here and this, and then the purple. I just am gonna take it out because I'm using it. Just like girl and working with more than one color is a task don't let nobody tell you look my all my yarn when i work working with one color ends up like this it's just it's a lot because i don't know why I don't. so without further ado i'm gonna tell you what i'm doing so i told you i'm finishing my goddaughter's hexagon cardigan and i'm using a six millimeter hook and i'm using the colors purple well let me tell you the specific colors this is craft smart value in the color amethyst big twist in the color medium rose and then this is big twist in the color baby pink so those are the colors i am using and this is what it's gonna this is what the sleeve is gonna look like when it's done I'm because if you have ever made a hexagon cardigan, you know there's that last row where you go back over only four sides. So I'm trying to figure out where that's going to start. You know what I'm saying? Because this has one, two. So maybe one, two. Okay, so I guess I'll stop at row two. But it's so confusing. Like, it's not as easy as it seems. But she's going to love it regardless of if it looks off. So, it's okay. I just don't think I need a third row. Oh, yeah, I can't even see me crochet. I just don't think I need a third row, which is like, I hope. Because it was just like one, two. Oh, wait, okay, yeah, this might be the last row. I shouldn't have, like, I shouldn't have took that long of a break from this project. Because now, it's frustrating me. And I hate when stuff starts getting confusing. I think I'm thinking too hard about it, honestly. So, let me count some. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to come right back. Okay, so I think I figured it out for the most part. And I'm just going to finish off this row. And if it's wrong, then... Trial and error. You know what I'm saying? So, I was thinking... I was like, if I'm going to be on my crochet channel, I should always be wearing something that I crochet. But then I thought about it. I was like... All my crochet stuff is like not just chilling in the house. Like, I mean, my blanket and my cardigan and stuff are. Because making a kid one or a baby one is nothing. I mean, unless it's for yourself, then you don't really care. So, hello. Um, see, as you see, I got a little bit more comfortable because now I have my hood on and my bonnet. I'm not playing any games. It's like, nah, but look at this. It's all sewn up. She's ready to go. I am about to color switch right here, though. This pink right here. Now we're on to the medium rows, so it's crazy because if you've ever worked with Craft Smart yarn, it's so thick. Like I really think it's amazing for sweaters or like stuff you want like really thick, because Craft Smart yarn is thick. But we're gonna cut off purple. It's been fun, but you gotta go. But we're on to this pink. I just wanted to come on here update y'all, cause I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want to sit here and crochet like on the camera because i feel like that's just i'm crocheting over my work because my mistake that i did on my other arm on my other sleeve is that it's so many loose ends and i hate weaving in ends I... hey guys it is the next day um i'm back and so is the crochet project okay so I'm trying to figure out if I like this setting. I'm in my little white spinny chair. So I'm trying to figure out if I like this setting and like if the light is like okay. 
or if it's not i don't i don't i honestly don't know i'll probably see when i watch it back but this clip is definitely going in whether i like it or not so like i said we're still on this project which is pitiful because honestly guys i'm almost like this sleeve is almost done i'm literally doing the decreasing and like i don't even know how many more rows i have i have to see how many rows i did on that one to try to like gauge oh my goodness she'll be the first one of my family members to wear something of mine which is like to me like it's so cute but I had work today, and once again, it was stressful. It all depends, like, on the day and how the kids are deciding to act. Sometimes they they want to be good, and then other times they want to be they want to be kids. So, kids are gonna be kids, right? What do I expect? But when they're good, it's like everything's good in the neighborhood. If you do not think you could deal with one child don't try to work with 20 of them that's all i'm gonna say do not try to work with 20 kids <laughs> don't try to be in the daycare if you do not like working with kids if you can't even handle babysitting your cousin or something all right yeah see it's slowly getting smaller i love like making hex on hard i made one for myself after that was my pride and joy I haven't wore it yet, but there's a reason why I have not wore it. I haven't wore it because because I just haven't been out. Well, that's not really why. I have just scared to wear it. I don't know why. Like I'm scared to put it into the outside air. Not because of what anybody's gonna say or anything. I really don't care about that because it looks so cute. But it's just about. I don't know. I feel like once I wear it, I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> Just my luck. But that's what I've been doing. I've honestly... <sighs> I want to go yarn shopping, but... I told myself that I wasn't going to buy any more yarn. I don't want to say this whole year, because that's absurd. But, like, at least for the next three months. Let's start with that. Moment of terror. They're done. I'm done with the two sides. I'm hoping they're the same length and everything in every way. It's seeming so. Once I iron that down. It's seeming like it. So I'm happy at this point. I'm happy. It's so hot. <laughs> I don't know when it got hot in my room, but it did. So I'm going to put y'all forward so I can face forward. But... I'm so excited now, y'all, because we can finally stop using all these 20 colors of yarn. I'm just going to pull out the purple because that's the color that I need to sew in the back. And I think that's the right piece right here. And I'm going to sew up the back and then I'm done because that's all I do for mine. And I sadly, unfortunately, have to weave in the ends. I might do that the day I know I'm going to give it to her. Because, listen, what's the point of doing any of when I could get to my other projects? I'm telling y'all. So, I think I'm still going to stick with three projects for this video. Because I'm, I want to get my first video back to be a good one. So, I might still stick to three videos. But, if that does change and I end up doing only two projects... It's still gonna be worth your while to watch, okay? Because I'm interesting. Okay, I'm really going to come back to y'all for real this time when I'm done, done. Like, when I'm done, done. Like, okay, the ends may not be weaved in, but everything's going to be done. And all the crochet is going to be done. It's going to be crocheted together. It's going to be a sweater. Okay? See y'all then. 
I cannot right now. The way that I am obsessed, it is so cute. It is so my goddaughter. Like, it is so her. Ah! I love it. Okay, okay, look. And then here's the back. And it's just so her, like, if y'all knew her, like I do, you would just be like, that's so her. Like, and then the little, like, the details with the pink, oh my goodness, I love, I love it. I'm honestly, I'm so happy. I'm happy with the product, I'm happy with the way everything came out. My mom's here so we can go to Target and get Chick-fil-A, but I love it. All I gotta do is weave the ends in, so that's project number one. She looks so crazy. Um, so I'm glad my mom came just in time. I will see y'all when I get back and we can figure out which project we're gonna do next. <laughs> okay, so I am back from the store in Popeyes because we changed our mind. So, I have Popeyes. But. Y'all, I'm so proud. I just showed my mom and she's like, oh, I love it. But this is it. it. It's literally symmetrical. I was scared that everything was going to be off and uneven, but nope. She's symmetrical. And that's what I was scared for. But it's so cute. I'm going to really. And we can bring up. The other project which I don't know I'm still between what project I'm going to be <sighs> completing completing I don't know yet but I will see y'all soon tomorrow I'm, I'm sounding a little nasally like I'm starting to get sick which is like I don't want to get sick please so we'll see and I will see y'all tomorrow see? hey y'all Hey y'all, uh, it is the day after I said I was going to see y'all again. Y'all probably wouldn't have known that, but I'm honest. So, it's the day after, because I slept literally all day yesterday. Well, not really all day, but like, I slept. So, I didn't film nothing. But, it is now Friday, and Friday means free day, and that means I can do whatever I need to do. So, I'm trying to decide what project to do okay how about we stick to the safe bet i'm gonna do my sweater because i really 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 want that done i'm gonna do my sweater i'm gonna do my sweater i didn't want to do that one in this video i didn't want to do it at all really i wanted to finish the sweater but just not under any like circumstance you know like when i'm feeling bored but i really want to finish it so that i can see if i want to like it and if it's something i will sell it will be expensive if i sell it but if it is something I want to sell. So, before winter ends. So what I'm going to do is first turn my heater on because it's freezing. It's freezing. And I'm going to go pull out the stuff for this sweater. So, I have everything in front of me. But I'm going to transfer it into this bag because this is the bag that I'm using to, like, crochet. So, here is my squares. This is the color of like the hoodie. I have two that are like the opposite way. Not really, but like I kind of messed up. So I made two so that the way they can be the back. Like they can be in the back, the two middle back ones. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and i'm working on my ninth ninth one 10 11 12 three more squares and then we sew them together i think we can do that i think we can do that <laughs> and then i'm gonna be in this cute sweater like y'all these colors are so cute i had i had to do it i had i had to do it like i had to so this and this is what I didn't want to happen. So as you guys know, I told you guys I'm not buying yarn for like three months. So that's February this month. February, March, April. So I can buy yarn in May. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. 
The kicker is, it looks like I'm running out of this cream colored yarn. <laughs> And you know what that means? It means I gotta buy more yarn. This is the color camel. Beautiful. <laughs> and we got cream. I don't know what this is actually called in Big Twist. I forgot, but it's Big Twist. And we got this. Wait, this one is called Toffee the Yarn Ball. So I must be working on that now. And the other one is in another thing because I was um, first chance with the nails. So I gotta go get the brown yarn, the dark brown. But that's it. So I'm gonna change, get comfortable, all that. And we're gonna go from there. Hey y'all. Uh, so it's me hours and hours and hours later. Just got back. I ate some five guys and I didn't go yarn shopping, so round of applause for me. But I still did spend unnecessary money. But that's has nothing to do with um today's the the video. So we're gonna get right into it. I finished one square off camera because I was talking to my friend, but let's count how many I have now. I got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now I have nine squares. <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need three more squares, so that should be pretty easy to work through. Um, it's just the same color scheme every time. I'm kind of glad that I'm starting with the cream because. I don't have that much as y'all seen I literally have a slither and I went through my whole yarn stash and I don't have any more cream believe it or not cream is the color that I buy a lot and I run through it so I'm about to start buying it in bulk I've never thought of a color that I needed in bulk but cream is the color I use it so much in orders and stuff that I personally make it's just a staple in my collection so I need to buy more cream Clearly, and I'm gonna buy the bulk and I love the big to cream because it's so soft so I'm just gonna buy the big one pound of it because I'm tired of running out of it so I'm going to probably put on Grey's Anatomy I finally decided to restart it because I decided to put my friends onto it when I was watching it and then they took it and ran with it y'all like they finished it they rewatched it about 17 times so maybe I need to redo it and figure out where I messed up because clearly I messed up somewhere. Y'all know what I just thought about? I did this in the same. <laughs> I did this same colors as. So clearly, I like the browns. I like the neutral. They cute. But yeah, even my claw clips for my hair are the same tone. <laughs> that is so funny. <gasps> my camera is blinking. So by the time the next time y'all see me, I'll probably be done with all the squares. Cause I'm gonna charge my camera because I don't want it to die on me later. Well, tomorrow, so I will see y'all when I charge my camera. I don't know if that's gonna be tonight or tomorrow, but if it's tonight, see you later, and if it's tomorrow, see you in the morning. Good morning, y'all. So, well, it's four o'clock, it's not, it's not morning. But it is the next day from when I said I was going to see you guys. And I ran into a little problem. I did one whole square off camera. And then this, I'm starting on this square. And you see the cream, right? I had just enough to finish this square. And I was like, freak. Because I told y'all I'm not trying to buy any yarn. But I had no choice if I'm trying to finish this. So I placed the order on joannes.com. And I did a curbside 
order to like make sure I don't overspend. So I paid like five dollars. Five dollars for another cream yarn. And let me show y'all what else I got. Matter of fact, I got oh okay, there we go. I got a white a uh a ivory, like a off-white, and then a cream, my cream. So that works out because I needed a white for my projects coming up and I needed another ivory for other projects and then I definitely needed this cream for now. So it worked and I'm happy about it. So don't need these ones right now. Okay. I'm at this is all the dark brown I have left. And I was gonna use this color to sew everything together. I go and try to make an excuse to go out and get more yarn. I ain't gonna do that. But with that being said, now I have to switch what color I'm gonna do because I know it's enough to finish my, wait, but the sleeves. <laughs> I didn't think this through. That's why I think I should be buying two of every color when I buy a color because I always make projects that end up needing. Unfortunately, I might have to make another curbside order even though I ended up having to go inside their curbside sucks they did not provide me with great service that's all I got to say they didn't come out they didn't tell me like we're on the way we coming out I gave them to the make the model of my car what it looked like what parking spot I was at everything crickets so I waited 10 minutes and I was like okay this is getting a little excessive so I went inside and she was like oh well um we might not have got it because your last name was on it. Both of my names were on there. My first and my last name. So if I put my first name, you still could have seen that that was me. Like, and my order number is on there. So stop lying. Like, I was just like, okay, thanks. Like, I that's why I can't talk in crochet because I get so distracted. All right, so that's it, y'all. I'm going to come back to y'all when I finish with this square and then we're gonna get to the fun part <laughs> wait is this the last square no i don't think it's the last square regardless i will get back to y'all when i'm done with this square hey y'all <laughs> i took me a nap and i got straight up and started crocheting because i just couldn't believe i took me a nap but it's a saturday so i could take a nap so that's what I did. Um, I'm just still crocheting. I'm on the last, last square. The last square. And it's not looking too well for how much brown I have left. So I tried to go into the yarn room and see if I had another brown like it. And so far, no good. But I think I have... Like, it's it's not the same shade. It's kind of like a a little bit lighter, but they kind of look alike. So I'm going to go in there and try to find that. I don't want to keep spending money on yarn, even though I did place... Oh, yeah, I had to place a mobile order again, but for the brown. And I'm going to return the ivory yarn because I just went through the yarn room and I found another ivory so I don't even need the ivory I have. I need to start looking before I think I don't have something, which is so annoying. So I'm gonna go cancel. Well, I can't cancel it. I have to go get it and return it, which is irritating, but considering that I have to return the ivy, it, it makes sense, it's okay. But this is how much I have left of the, cho of the chocolate brown. If you're watching this while you're crocheting, put a green or brown because those both represent green because my room is green favorite color is green or brown because that's the color of the project good morning i don't think y'all have seen me in my bonnet but y'all know what's under here so it don't matter but it is 7 26 in the morning and I actually got about like 6.50, but not for a little second. Um, Y'all like my crochet blanket? I'm still adding to it, but that's that's no here neither. I'm still adding to it. And 
yeah yeah so that's this and guys because i just can't seem to stop crocheting i had started another project last night even though i could have finished a whole different whip but i'm making roses um i'm making a bouquet of flowers and i thought i should come in here and tell y'all that but technically it is a whip because i've had this one done so down to business y'all for real um i bought i told y'all i let's catch back up i went and picked up my yarn the brown yarn that i was missing meanwhile i finished all of those all of these for the the little things i finished those for the flower bouquets that are coming out finishing my cardigan not my cardigan my sweater so i'm gonna pick all that stuff up off the ground and we're gonna get started so let me check wait how many do i have left hold up i thought i was still working on one okay here it is i'm like i know i did not finish i got one done two four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <gasps> I'm on the twelfth one. I'm thinking like, okay, I'm on the eleventh. I have like, I'm on the last one. Oh, by the way, I'm using this basket to harbor everything because these were getting all over the like place. They were just not staying where they need to stay. But y'all see where I, what I had left? Bam, baby. I went and bought a whole thing because mama wasn't playing. I wasn't. So we finna tie this together. I'm gonna get this done, y'all. But I just got done filming of what I crocheted in the month of January video. I love Big Twist yarn. I will I will stand by that phrase. People are like, oh it does this too much. Oh no. She's perfect to me. It's so soft and like it makes me want to wear it. Like Red Heart, I'm sorry, but it's so rough. Ouch! Like it's so rough for like projects that go on your body. Like this was made out of Red Heart and it's a hat. Matter of fact, this is listed on my Depop if you like it. And if you weren't looking for like an oversized beanie, cat beanie, then here you go. So want a cat beanie? I also, and you don't want this color specifically, I also sell them on my Etsy. So, you can pick any color combo. You can do whatever, up to three colors. And do whatever you want. <laughs> so, y'all, I'm almost done. That's why I'm moving so fast. Because I'm like, okay, once I'm done with this, it's time to sew them together. I'm not excited. You are. But I, actually, I'm really excited. Because it's going to be like my first sweater sweater. Like, I haven't made a sweater. I made a hexagon cardigan, but I haven't made, like, a pullover sweater where it's, like, going to be, like, I could wear it as, like, a, a sweater every day. Like, I could wear it as an everyday sweater if I wanted to, you know? Like, like a regular hoodie if I wanted to. But I don't know yet, so. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with all the squares. The worst part is over. But war is over. I'm finally done. I'm probably going to line these up, get them all situated. I'm probably going to sew them up. And I will come back to y'all probably when I'm doing the sleeves. Because I'm, I'm going to finish this today. And I'm not going to wait for my camera to charge. So I will see y'all when I see y'all. Peace in the Middle East. Hey, y'all. So, little update. I just got off work, took a shower. Now I'm in my nightgown. Um, let me show y'all how far I have gotten with this. Y'all gonna be so proud of me. Oh, yeah. And this is how it would go. Like, you see, I'm, this is the sleeve. It's just now getting started. But that's the sleeve. That's the panel. This is the other sleeve. 
So, as y'all can probably imagine, I'm gonna try it on for y'all real quick. Well, I wouldn't wear it this way. It would go the other way because the other way has the two brown pieces. I mean, it could go either way. But this is how it's looking so far. You see how this arm is like, it could be like more off the shoulder and stuff. But you see how, you see how it falls right here? That's how it's gonna look. It's not gonna, don't look at it be so big and out right here. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. But then I started working on the arm and I was like, okay. It's looking, it's looking cute. So I'm just gonna have to finesse it a little bit. It's just gonna be like a little bit oversized. Next time I might not do as many squares. I might just do like a little bit less. If I do this again, it's like no, I'm definitely gonna do this again. But see, cause I obviously don't have the sleeves done, but it's growing on me as I'm wearing it in this. It's growing on me. La, 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 la. I'm telling y'all, when y'all see me wearing this a lot, a lot. Don't act surprised. I told y'all. But I feel like... I feel like this would be like an ongoing project that I just have going on. If you know what I mean. It would be an ongoing project that I just keep doing. Because... Like, I'll make... Making granny squares when you're bored is just so fun. So I feel like I could do that. And keep it going. And then before I know it, I'll have 12 granny squares. But... The thing with this is I probably wouldn't do multiple different colors. I would do like ombre yarn. That way it's changing itself because it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. But I wanted to come in here and let y'all know that she is finished. You are now one of my elite employees. So let me give y'all the rundown. I don't know how much longer it took me. I can probably... Don't hold me to this. Put a little timestamp of like how long it's taken me from the last clip to this clip. I, I'm finally done with it. I am wearing a blue nightgown, so it might not look the best on top of it. But and I didn't sew in any of the ends for the mere fact that I'm not safe at all. I'll do it when I have the time. But mind you, I still am gonna steam this. I have to steam it so that it can like drape instead of like being boxy. It's gonna drape. So I'm gonna scoot y'all back wow so here she is in all her glory i love it it's kind of like trippy though like it's kind of trippy and imagine like i have a tank top on and it's just like my bare shoulder matter of fact let me okay okay well now i can't move all right so like imagine that can we see that can we see that happening for me that is this and let me show you how it looks towards the bottom i'll stand up for you this is how it looks. Um, obviously, you can have it. I can just have it upright like this, like a regular sweater. Ignore all the not weaved in ends. But this is how it looks. This is the back where I color blocked it different down the middle. You see how the middle is like different, differently colored? And then this is the front. So, this is it. This is... I am honestly so happy about how it turned out. Like, I am so happy that we're done with this video um so i can get moving with the next video but i wanted to finish this one before i started anything else so now that this is done that was the main project that i need to finish for this video so i'm happy about that me and this and i will see you guys in my next video if you have any questions leave them below and if you have any recommendations also leave them below thank you for watching bye guys